That's a bit of a fun one. Haven't seen this for quite some time. It does mean they have that. so much CC and more walls special? for Poppy. Kind of cool. You get the walls, you get extra kite back and peel. I really like it. Now, I do think the laning matchups uh, are, are looking a lot more rough than they might otherwise do, particularly topside. Up here to make sure that Croco cannot kill his jungler. As Did Croco's still spotted? here, guys. Um, the flash does come through, and there's the flash heroic charge. Make sure that Kane cannot do anything. And the red buff is ticking. That is going to guarantee the kill. And KT rolls to represent for Rascal. Kane um, needs to press W, otherwise he is dead. And he doesn't, and so he's dead. No vault available, and the Quinn doesn't even get the blind. Oh dear. He's, with, he's playing cleanse as well. Yeah. Rascal will have so much more agency in this lane than he ever should have as oh, all aiming. Caller. Yeah, aiming is going to have to supercharge to get himself out of the way. Cuz is on his Krug Rocco's camping. Here. Rocco is coming down. There's the flash out from Lahans. Aiming's going to have to use his as well as there's a steadfast presence. Aiming oh. going to be shot with a feather and Paddock's going to be able to take him down. That is three. What about the DRX? very end of summer experience. Chronicler, welcome to that what? one, as that's another couple of kills Put for on. DRX. Puddock's gonna grab a double. That puts him on a killing. He's just been playing this early game so extraordinarily well, uh, and I want to believe. As, yeah, Cuz is gonna have to heartbreak, and that is a Weaver's Wall, so he's really dead. Hmm. Hmm. Gold advantage. I they were, I assume, setting up a dive with the double rotation. The lane swap towards top, which is going to be salvageable anyway. But when your lane swap doesn't work out and instead you lose your jungler right from the get-go and then the... So as you were saying... It's not impossible, but it's... As Hook, max range, going to connect there onto Barrel. Killer Instinct going to be used by aiming and Barrel is just dead. Seismic Shove avoided by Cuz because he just turns into a tree. This is a lot of money now going over to DRX. A very long lane for Keen to run away from a poppy in. Yep, the ultimate not going to land as the Weaver's Wall comes in. Seismic Shove actually lands onto aiming who does cleanse. In the end, Fate taking a fair bit of damage there as we can see from the inner turret as Shirley should be able to get another charge. And Rascal just going to clear out the wave and go aggressive. On to Keen here. He does have that Strike Breaker like you're talking about. And the Depth Charge does come through. KT using so much to try and kill Rascal here, who flashes and will burn down. It is Keen that does secure the kill. Very important for them. Pretty important there that they are able to pick up the kill. Get some gold into the pockets of Keen for some soft KT's team fighting. You know, you, you, you got to keep... Keep hanging on. It's not impossible, but it is still unlikely. As and Cuz all in position. And now Slice and Dice is on cooldown. There is no flash. He is super duper dead, ladies and gents. And there he, there he goes. So Keen going to lock that one down. Cuz going to turn into a crocodile for a little bit. And the rest okay. of the... As Croco could just flash over this wall. Uh, he's not going to. What about Cuz though? Yeah, he's in trouble. There's a heroic charge. Talia can throw down a wall as well to zone him away. Yep, there it is. The wall is going to come through as Lahans does get over it. And now they're looking for the turn. Cuz gonna have to try and get out of there. He does, but Lahans not gonna be so lucky. Puddock gonna grab that kill. And now KT's health bars are getting wiped out. Opportunity though is Keen going really fast. Okay. So it's here for aiming, but the, I think the health bars are too high. Yeah. Barrel's getting low, though. Yeah, Barrel still available. could be an opportunity. Cuz does have that smite, is now aiming, looking for the tree. Killer Instinct comes down. He does manage to take the Maokai out. Is now BDD looking for his opportunity, but he just gets blown up. And Puddock's going to lock down another kill. Ulti out for Cuz, and now back to the Baron once again. Unless KT would like to donate even more. If you told me before this series that DRX would have great measured Baron takes two games in a row. I wouldn't have believed. I mean, KT are getting wiped at this point in time. It is two minutes. We'll have a look to see where that uh, Baron power play is going to come through from uh, Barrel just to zone as Emperor's Divide going to be just denied. Not even able to do it as Fate going to go golden. Keen looking for his opportunity. The rest of TRX trying to rotate over, but they can't get there. And so Tali is dead. Maokai is dead. And um, in just... One misguided push towards the mid lane. Okay, so they can go for a diver. It looks like that's what they're trying to go for. Yeah, going for it. And the control ward's going to be split. 
The uh, Nature's Grasp gonna guarantee the inner turret. So there that is. And so DRX are now yeah. going to back away. So that should make it. They're putting Keen in the side lane and they're looking for responses as, oh, this might backfire. Oh dear. They are going to lock down Fate for a little while as Seismic Shove just going to make sure that they cannot get on top of him. Heroic charge from Croco as Keen finds Paddock in the Baron pit. Pity gets over the wall. Seismic Shove not gonna find anyone and Fate is going to die. Now Beryl is scattering and KT. They've just found it. Rascal not even going to finish off Lahens there because he didn't have enough information. And now Keen out. can chase them down forever. There is Beryl just trying to taxi towards the Quinn. And Croco unfortunately just doesn't have enough Ws to make this one work. And he is going to be able to use it here, but um, Vault, Sky Strike, things like that. going to get over that wall as Croco is he's trying to fake him out. And yeah, gets the auto attack off. Um, as the ulti was coming down. So it goes back to the min. This is the weirdest series that I've cast since the last really weird series that we cast. We've had a lot. We have a and They are just not scared. They're going for the Baron anyway. Keen is booking it. He's going so fast. Has that W to get the vision as Hook is going to connect there. As he gets into the back line, Heroic Charge doesn't work out. As now the helicopter comes in. Cuz he's going to go, oh, the Empress Divide from BDD. And now Keen is Gale forcing oh, no. forward. It's massive damage. And KT will wipe the fight. This series is so silly. Five and zero! Oh Clean ace that might have been not long. Obviously, KT weren't going to be taken down. Not today. The not winning even streak continues. Oh, baby. Yeah, that's uh, that's what, 10 in a row or something like that. It's not, you know, it's just we knew it was going to happen. As the execute comes in, needs to get back to buying this ARAM for uh, Lahens. The Nexus goes down and KT, a 2 1 victory here. Uh, some grins on their faces. Look at Aiming. Aiming was losing his mind laughing after that series, and you could understand it, but...